The following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. We would like to remind our viewers that the views expressed in this program by our participating guests are solely viewpoints of them who take part and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verena Media Network. This is an opinion-based program. This is Other Verena 24 tonight. Winning the presidency and getting down to work. Within the first month, new president Gotabe Rajpaksa has managed to put a full stop to wasteful spending by the government sector, which even ran to the heights of stopping the usual New Year message via SMS by the president, saving millions of rupees of public money. He has given strict instructions to the state sector to be useful for the people rather than being a stagnated, inefficient entity in the country. In his inaugural message to the parliament, he clearly laid out a plan to ensure that where the country should be heading and how we can get there. The opposition in their part is not happy, despite it's just one month to his presidency. Recently, their talking point has been on rising vegetable prices. Self-proclaimed economic experts from the UNP even made their way to economic centers in the country to inspect into prices. Also prompting the question as to why they were not concerned about these issues during their tenure. To discuss the country's current way forward under President Gotabe Rajpaksa, especially one month down the line, tonight, my guests are State Minister of Tea Industry Development, Kanchana Vijay Sekara, and Member of Parliament representing the United National Party for the Gampaha District, Harshana Rajakarma. Welcome to Monday. It's time to get real. Very happy new year to you all. Thank you very much for joining on our season's premiere. We've updated our look a little bit in order to continuously provide you with high quality programming that's in par with our international standards. Now tonight, we want to take stock of as to how the Gotabe Rajpaksa presidency is faring one month down the line. Is it enough time? Let's get real. A new decade opens for us, all Sri Lankans with the hope of a new country, a new vision and prospect for our future. The word new is always renewed each year. We start off with good intentions and then down the line things don't go according to plan and then we suffer to a greater extent. And then once again we get another new opportunity. We try and renew those hopes again. Now, this is what we have been doing for the past 71 years since independence, hoping and wishing that our leaders who come forward will take this country beyond its abilities. You and I know that we have failed in that to a certain extent. Our hopes and dreams of surpassing countries like Singapore continues to still be a fantasy. The leaders who come to power continues to blame the old government and then do very little. This wishes cycle continues, but that seems to be coming to an end very soon. Now, President Gotabe Rajpaksa, I think, in my opinion, is the only leader that is setting an example by action, not by mere speeches and words. In fact, he's distinctively missing in the public eye, especially in giving long, lengthy speeches. He's more ready to get the work done. And that's too, uh, not by word of mouth, but going to the ground level to witness it by himself. Yes, we've seen members of the opposition, especially the people who align themselves with the 3%, is very critical of the president's visit to state institutions and calling it mere drama. Isn't this what people really wanted though? A leader to go through the issues and face it in real time to understand the gravity of those issues, rather than be told by his staff or supporters, in a way, to get real with our country's issues. It's very clear we know that President Gotabe Rajpaksa isn't the same type of a leader who we all have been accustomed to. So it's only fair to believe that his way of governance is going to be an uncustomary approach in this country's leadership. <laughs> Pahadili teen to teer nagata nohanki Antawade balapam and nirantare in Yatapatwana Astava parliament to rata ratakata sudusunehe 
ජනතා පරමාධිපත්‍ය තහවුරුවන ප්‍රබල විධායකයා විවස්ථා දායකයා සහ ස්වාධීන අධිකරණයක් ස්ථාපිත කිරීම විවස්ථා වෙනසක් තුලින්ම විසඳා ගත යුතුයි Let's put that to the test. And I've invited two guests to discuss about this in detail. And we'll get to that discussion right after the short break. This is Get Real. We'll be right back. to the program uh, time now to get into the discussion portion of tonight and in order to do that uh, on the first program of 2020 i have invited two uh, very important members in our political field uh, representing two major parties in sri lanka uh, i want to welcome uh, state minister uh, of tea industries development kanchana vijayasekhar uh, happy new year to you and welcome to the program happy new year and thank you for having me Uh, and also uh, parliamentarian Harshana Rajakarna representing the Gampaha district from the United National Party. Uh, Harshana, thank you very much uh, for uh, taking, accepting our invi invitation and coming on the program and Happy New Year to you thank as well. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Gentlemen, uh, th once again, thank you very much uh, for joining me. Uh, we are one month, one month or more down the line uh, into the uh, Kota Bay Rajapaksa presidency and uh, this whole discussion is going to uh, revolve around that, whether is it, is it uh, favorable to the people or is it not? So that, that's the argument that we want to have a discussion on. Uh, I want to start right before that, before the one month with you, Harshana, and um, ask you the question, uh, the United National Party, apparently your uh, The, the proposals you put forward to the people in the presidential election did not go according to what you planned for. Um, and if you actually take around uh, the world in elections, uh, seems to be a nationalistic uh, approach. And this particular nationalistic uh, sentiment is uh, gaining traction in, in, in most parts of the world. Even in the United Kingdom, we just saw the election was won by Boris Jen uh, Johnson in, in a massive uh, landslide. Uh, you think, did you all take stock of what you all did and uh, how exactly to approach the general election that's going to come in a few months time first of all uh, i want to thank you uh, for inviting us uh, um, for this program the first time that i'm uh, appearing uh, best wishes for 2019 uh, talking about the previous uh, the the presidential election uh, nationalism and extremism it's a it's a, a very fine line uh, nationalism is a good thing uh, but uh, when you try to portray nationalism in an extremist way uh, that is the dangerous part i i, I feel uh, sri lanka uh, you know what we had to face uh, is uh, quite a lot of extremism extremist political views and uh, and of course i agree with you uh, nationalism in is kind of a trend these days yes uk the brexit the donald trump presidency uh, and quite a lot of cases even in modi india. is uh, election in india yeah uh, so uh, it's it's a it's a difficult area but i I believe our four years of government, uh, where we 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 failed to communicate what we did, and uh, and also uh, the fact that in the presidential election, where our camp had only 35 days to do the presidential campaign, and and the uh, the Rajapaksa camp. for three and a half years, I would say, that they, they campaigned and they uh, uh, had, the, had their plans in order. So overall, uh, we, we lacked uh, uh, momentum, we lacked uh, uh, planning. Um, so, so that was the main reason for failure and the loss of the election. But some are pointing out the fact that 
bashing uh, certain members of the clergy, um, being taking harsh uh, actions against them and not exactly giving the due place to uh, Buddhism in this country actually uh, went in the wrong direction uh, for you all. I, you all I, accept that? I totally agree on that. I totally agree that we as laymen, we have no right to talk about uh, clergy and their, their uh, behavior. Uh, therefore, the high priests are there for that. And uh, we shouldn't have uh, made uh, remarks on that and put, put uh, uh, those in detail stuff in the, fa in the social media and given press conferences regarding these things. I, I think that was a big mistake that a uh, few individuals did. So unfortunately, uh, as, a, as a political party, as a government, we sh the, the leadership should have taken a stand and, 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 and you know, taken an action against them. Unfortunately, that was not happening. Therefore, the blame, the blame was there for the whole government. So there was only one or two individuals who, mm -hmm. who did these unfortunate things and, and that did uh, uh, brought us down in but a way. If I turn to you, Kanchana, uh, do you agree uh, extremism was how you all won the election? Uh, no, I don't agree with uh, my friend Harshana Rajakaruna. Uh, actually, there were a few other things that the public was looking for. One thing, the major concern of the public going into vote was about the national security and was also about the economy, uh, how uh, much pressure was building on everyone. Uh, and then there was also concerns about uh, the leadership uh, because we've seen in the last four and a half years uh, there was no strong leadership uh, to guide the country. Uh, there was actually a conflict between the president and the prime minister and there were instances where we saw that there were uh, differences even within the same cabinet. So those sort of things were things that actually pushed the public uh, towards a different line and they wanted a strong leader. They wanted a, a leader who could uh, unite the country, a leader who could establish the national security, because that was a major downfall in the past uh, government. Uh, we saw even during the, the, the April 21st, uh, the Easter Sunday attacks, uh, the inefficient, uh, inefficiency of the government and the policy that the government followed towards the national security uh, actually uh, created this whole mess. So. Those things were the things that people actually went in to vote for. Um, and I don't believe uh, the word extremism or uh, things used by uh, the, the current opposition, uh, those were the things actually that were used by them as slogans back in 2015 uh, to defeat President Rajapaksa. We saw uh, how the communities were misled uh, into saying that uh, the President Rajapaksa or under a, a regime under the President Rajapaksa, there will be, the minorities will suffer. Uh, those were the things that were portrayed. And uh, even about the incidents in Aludgama uh, that, uh, that were in 2013 and 2014, that led into the downfall of the Rajapaksa government. Uh, but in the last five years, we didn't see any investigations. We didn't see anything taking place against those sort of allegations. Uh, so the people, they were building up frustration uh, and that in turn, uh, we were well prepared, we planned well and I don't uh, agree with Harshana saying that they had only a 35 day campaign to run because for four and a half years you all had the government to run. So basically uh, it was a UNP government, uh, the Prime Minister was the UNP leader, uh, your presidential candidate was a minister, cabinet minister in that government for four and a half years, he was there in every cabinet uh, decision-making process. Uh, so that was not a new campaign for the 35 days. It was a campaign. Uh, he, we, we saw that Sajid Premadasu was building up a campaign island-wide uh, with his house in projects and everything, uh, gearing up for the presidential election. So I don't believe in that 35-day uh, presidential uh, race that they had uh, minimum time, but they had time. Uh, but during the time that they had, they performed poorly and the people uh, chose otherwise. 
All right, so let's come uh, down to what we are here to discuss today. One uh, month down the line of the Gotabe Rajapaksa presidency, what do you see? Do you see that apparently um, they have managed to deliver or are they in the process of delivering uh, what they promised? Um, it's a bit too early to see, uh, come to conclusions, but uh, uh, it, it's uh, always, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of hope uh, that uh, President Gotabe Rajapaksa uh, will do something new. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't see it coming because uh, uh, it's the same old faces that has come up. I want to congratulate my friend uh, Kanchana uh, Vijay Sekar being appointed as a state minister. In fact, uh, the youngest state minister. The youngest. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm very happy about his... Uh, uh, position, but however, there's uh, the 95 percent or 99 percent of the rest are the same people, and some were also rejected. And you know, that's what they said that you know, for example, they said that uh, uh, they will not appoint uh, people who were who were who lost their elections. Now, there are ministers, uh, uh, however, so people have, within this one month, they have not seen the progress that they expect. So there's, uh, there are a few new initiative things, I mean, uh, innovative things. Uh, I'm, we are quite happy about that. But uh, majority, uh, would feel that uh, you know we are, we are still waiting. We are, people are people were talking about uh, uh, the the uh, uh, the main issue they were talking about was the how they convert, conveyed was about the cost of living, and uh, uh, cost of living has increased this month, and. Uh, I don't. I don't think uh, uh, they have managed to handle that yet. Uh, also, we were waiting. We are talking about the uh, the Easter attack, and uh, the Easter attack. Uh, uh, for example, Rishad Badruddin were uh, clearly accused of uh, get, of being involved, and he himself is saying to have a presidential commission uh, to check on the uh, uh, issues that he is accused of. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I don't see any anything coming out of that. They, I, when I was talking about extremism and nationalism, what I mentioned was that the Rajapaksa camp was successful in communicating to the people when the, when Rishad Badruddin is aligned with us, when Rauf Hakim is aligned with us, we are the, involved with extremism. But when Hezbollah, Ataullah, and all those were involved with their camp, that was uh, uh, reasonable. So we, we failed in that sense. I'm not accused, I'm, I'm not blaming anyone. But as a, as a government, like he said, uh, we, we should have planned it. Yes, we had four years. Unfortunately, till 35 years, we couldn't uh, uh, nominate. Till 35 days, we couldn't finalize the nominations, who the presidential candidate is. And I think uh, uh, we are at fault, not them. We are at fault for not doing that. This is uh, refreshing to hear uh, because uh, usually um, in politics what we see is like, you know, you blaming them, they blaming you, but, you know, self-evaluating and actually saying that, you know, uh, there was a mistake um, that has taken from your end is actually refreshing to hear from uh, a new uh, younger generation of politicians. Now, uh, the other thing uh, that I wanted to ask you, uh, ask from you, um, Harshani, is the fact that uh, why didn't you all, when you pinpoint saying that uh, 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 Richard uh, was involved or he was accused of being involved in any of the terrorist attacks that took place. Uh, why didn't you all take the initiative to investigate when you had the power? No, we did. We did. We, we had a parliamentary uh, committee. The investi investigation was going on that end. The police, the authority in charge, 
the police was having an investigation they they had uh, i can remember they had a week or so a special unit if there are anything against uh, minister ishad badruddin for the public to come and uh, uh, make complaints so the, all those investigations were there but unfortunately uh, you know it was a very sensitive issue it it was very hard for uh, you know the after the east attack i mean that that was a huge crisis i mean we never ever thought or expected such a uh, tragic situation to occur and uh, and unfortunately the the extremists uh, uh, who were involved in that were were muslims and therefore most of the muslim leaders uh, had to face it or were accused of it so um, rishad badruddin uh, was uh, one of our key alliances and and he that that was a that was a huge blow for us but unfortunately uh, when they when they when there were investigations and then the investigations were running pretty well uh, nothing was uh, i i don't think there was any fact uh, actual substance in it for 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 him to be uh, charged so we are waiting now we are waiting now so as they were accusing us uh, the, or the minister richard badruddin let let's see whether uh, he's <coughs> he's being charged all right uh, kanchana apparently uh if if i start from the initial uh point that he made that uh people doesn't seem to be uh feeling the rush that was made prior to the elections in terms of change and in terms of bringing systems in and doing this and just uh, what harshan said was um, the uh, retail prices in in vegetables and in whether it's rice or uh, no this has this is this has been their talking point uh, how do you respond do you think you need more time or have you all done and uh, like just like the unp failed <coughs> to communicate no first of all uh, we have uh, in our policy statement clearly stated what we want to do to change things in the economy as well as uh, about the prices and everything and we have made steps uh, from the first cabinet meeting itself to bring down some of the tax burden that was already there uh, with the public uh, reduction of the vat uh, taxes the the removal of the nbt uh, and also from uh, the 1st of january uh, people will be getting a little bit more tax benefits but the only thing that we had to understand is it is only about a month since in uh, gorabe rajapaksa the president rajapaksa been in office and the production that has been coming in uh, to the markets right now uh, has been very low because of the uh, the policy that they had towards the agriculture sector in the uh, in the in the local market mm -hmm. uh, they were more they were more focused on uh, imports rather than uh, empowering the local industry local farmers so those are the things that we are looking at right now to uh, to change things over and we hope in the next 6 months uh, we will be able to control uh, some of these prices uh, and also i saw a couple of mps who had gone visiting uh, in the uh, uh, some of the places and economic, they were centers. economic centers and they were accusing of uh, um about some uh, rice that were been sold in the markets but uh, we have to uh, say that all the imports that were done uh, the rice imports that were not during our government in the last month so whatever that was imported into the country that was not suitable for consumption uh, has to be in the last four and a half years so they can't uh, point fingers at us and also going back to uh, what harshan said about all faces in this current government as well now one thing is that uh, president rajapaksa has clearly made some changes and we have seen new members who have been given more responsibility in the in the cabinet uh, now my cabinet minister is dr ramesh patirana he is a young uh, uh, mp uh, who was elected in 2010 and we see prasanna ranatunga representing harshan's district as well being given a cabinet portfolio and also young state ministers uh, newcomers have been accommodated in this uh, cabinet but also i i do agree with him to a certain extent uh, this parliament should uh, 
should not be actually this parliament doesn't have the mandate to carry on now. Uh, I think we should go in for a quick parliamentary elections and if Harshana and the group of the UNP MPs do agree to go into the parliamentary elections, I, I think we will see a lot more new faces who will uh, get into the new parliament and who will be aligned with the, the Gota Be Rajapaksa Mahindra Rajapaksa policies and then we will see more new faces coming in. Uh, so we have to go with the existing parliament, we have to make a cabinet. Uh, cabinet of ministers or state ministers with the existing group. So there is no choice in that. So uh, even though uh, there were promises to appoint people uh, as cabinet ministers in, in a scientific way, but we have to pick from the same people. But you see changes in the department heads. Institutions, uh, Otabi Rajapaksa, Mahindra Rajapaksa, the two of them, uh, they have decided the institution heads should be appointed. Uh, uh, with the knowledge that they have and the experience that they have in their field. So we have seen new faces coming in. I'm sure uh, Harshana will appreciate the fact that uh, people who are well-known figures, who have uh, done well for their industries, have been given leading roles in institutions rather than politically affiliated uh, people. So we are seeing changes like that. And we ask the public to be patient. Uh, we have a parliamentary election coming up. Uh, we hope uh, the parliament will be dissolved on the 2nd of March uh, and hopefully we can go in for a parliament election before the first week of May. Uh, then I think the, the full policy document can be implemented uh, by President Gotabe Rajapaksa as well as Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa. So we have to uh, be a little bit patient but there is a structure be in being placed. Uh, people are falling behind that. Uh, people are following uh, his lead. We have seen youth with uh, new ambitions and we have seen how things have been wor uh, working differently in some of the government institutions. Uh, so things are f uh, falling into line slowly. So uh, I hope uh, everything will be uh, according to the president's plans after the next parliamentary elections. Uh, Harjana, quickly before we go uh, to a short and commercial can I, uh, Yes. quickly answer on the presidential commissions as well. Now, uh, what my friend Harshana Rajakana said was that there was, a, there was no investigations going on, but right now there is a presidential investigation commission going on into the uh, Easter Sunday attacks and uh, the commission that they uh, appointed, the committee that they appointed in the parliament, uh, I don't think the... There was a presidential committee as well. There, there is a presidential commission mm. that is investigating right now. Not now, even before. No, no even before, even appointed by the president, the president Maitripala Sirisena. Yes, exactly. That was what was proposed before, appointing a parliamentary select committee. Now, what my uh, understanding is that parliamentarians, us being parliamentarians, we don't have the knowledge or the experience to conduct investigations. I agree. So, that is not the way how it should have been done. Uh, take people like, I don't have anything against anyone of them, but take people like Professor Ashumar Singh being a part of an investigation committee, what experience does they, do they have to investigate uh, into, a, uh, to allege, uh, into, into attacks that took place? And that's why we see in the presidential commission right now, there are things being uh, unveiled in those commissions that were not in the parliamentary select committee that uh, took place in the last three months. So uh, that's why we are seeing new evidence coming if, out. If I may interrupt, yeah. the investigations were handled uh, in, in different sectors. There was a presidential investigation, presidential commission that was investigating it. The parliamentary select committee was also investigating. Mm -hmm. The police, the CID and, and, and the authorities that is directly in charge was also investigating. So. I am not talking about only the parliamentary select committee. That was also there because this was a, such an important case. There, there, the investigations were there on all the levels. Mm -hmm. but that's, you, what, that's what but why I was saying. I agree that uh, the report that came out from the parliamentary select committee actually didn't give out the right picture because we have seen right now, even on your media, you have uh, telecasted it. The commission uh, was investigating recently uh, into the, the attacks and the, the statements that were made at the Parliamentary Select Committee and at the Presidential Committee uh, were two different exactly. statements. And so we are unveiling a lot of things right now. And so if, if you say that the Parliamentary Select Committee actually gave a, uh, said that the, the, the accused ministers uh, were cleared of any wrongdoing, uh, 
I'm I'm not 100 percent. So let's wait and that. see. So I think there's a presidential commission investigating. So if th that doesn't uh, prove anything, then we can obviously appoint another committee to look into it uh, with all members part of it. Uh, and then we can go from there. Indeed, uh, Harshana, before uh, we go in for a short commercial break, very quickly, he, uh, the current government, is again putting the ball in your court saying that uh, if you want to see results uh, of this particular new government, then the best way to do it is to go back to the people, get a mandate and come back so that they, it can strengthen uh, the policies and the strategies of the current president. Um, why aren't you not going in for a uh, general election no, as soon as possible? We will go for a general election according to the constitution. The, uh, according to the constitution, without the two-thirds in the parliament, uh, yes. we will be, we, they, the president has no powers. And, and we don't think that this is the time for, the, for a presidential, sorry, general for a election. general parliamentary election. And just to, you know, okay, I'm, I'm happy that few appointments were made for the new faces. I clearly mentioned that, especially him. Especially, and few others like, like Dr. Ramesh, Tarak, Bal Surya, uh, uh, and, and Shanak, uh, uh, same thing, and few others. That is 99, not the 99%. Mm -hmm. So he, he, what they are trying to say is, what he is trying to say is that we have to do with what we have. Yes, of course, but, uh, you know, what they mentioned at the election were something totally different. They, they clearly told that they will not uh, give uh, positions for people who lost uh, the parliamentary election. We haven't given any to anyone. Okay. There's you a select yes. coalition partner and there are coalition partners who decide but, on their but portfolios. Yes. No, 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 no. The, 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 the position is given by the president. With the uh, okay of the prime minister, right? So if if the coalition just because the coalition wants something, they don't want have to. These are all, you know, to get something done, right? They they will you say the same answers that you all gave in the last absolutely. one. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. About appointments in the SLA. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a bit of a deja vu. <laughs> Absolutely. So anyway. the, 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 the difference we had is the president was from the SLFP. We had no choice. Right. But they have a choice. But you all had a choice in the UNP appointments, right? Of course. But you all were never accom accommodated. Uh, unfortunately not. That's the reason that we lost. <laughs> so we have been accommodated. We, very few young, of you all. No, no, not young, very, very, not, very, not very, 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 very few. There's Dilum Mamunukama. There's Shehan. Yes, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a there's very a few. I'm, I'm, all I'm saying that 10. Ramesh Patirada. Then 10 is so, good. All right. It's good. Okay. Uh, no doubt. Understood. No doubt. Understood. Uh, uh, before that, we, I mean, before we get into the other sectors of the discussion uh, with regard to the economy of the current government, uh, the economy of the current, uh, country, and uh, the strategy of the current government, let's take a short commercial break. You're watching Get Real. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone, to the program. I'm in conversation uh, with State Minister of uh, Tea Industry Development, Kanchan Vijayasekara, and also uh, parliamentarian uh, Harshan Rajagakarna from the United National Party representing the Gampaha district. We've been having a lively debate with regard to who, where the blame should be rested upon, but apparently uh, seems like passing the buck again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I want to start off, uh, I want to move on uh, with our discussion and uh, talk about um, one of the key things that actually in, in, 20, uh, in 2014 we heard from the United National Party and in, in uh, 2019 we, uh, we heard from the current government is the fact that we are coming to catch the thieves. Uh, we are going to take, get rid of corruption, we are going to uh, put everything in its place and make sure that you know this country is going to flourish. Economy is going to take uh, its highest uh, uh, ability to uh, become another country like Singapore, or this was what was promised back then. 
2015, uh, the UNP government failed to do just that. And here we see that apparently the same trend that, you know, soon after elections, going after certain ministers, this is happening again. And, you know, uh, exchanges are made uh, between the two main parties, uh, pointing the finger at each other, saying that apparently they're not doing the job uh, or getting the job done. Um, Kanchan, I want to start with you. What's happening? Why are we seeing the <coughs> same thing that we saw back in 2015, just going after a couple of ministers and just, you know, you, you understand the, the fatigue uh, from the people, that they are frustrated that no action is being taken, uh, especially with regard to the central bank issue, uh, things like that. But then you see these media press conferences which which in my point of view is absolutely useless because there are more more uh, major issues that needs to be addressed why is that happening now yeah, again I, I, no i share the same frustrations actually so we have been questioning about uh, certain things uh, that have been taking place investigations uh, what we see is right now uh, even though the garments have changed uh, the president the prime minister and the cabinet is a new cabinet but the officials who are investigating are the same people who had been there placed uh, in the last four and a half years. And uh, right now, our biggest concern is also that we have provided uh, certain complaints to the, uh, the bribery commission as well as the CID over the last four and a half years with clear evidence. There were statements we, were, we had given them uh, and there were presidential commissions that had given clear evidence as well. So we are also concerned why it's not taking place and I, we hope uh, in the next two, three months, uh, things will speed up. And also, we would like to remind that uh, the, the, the way things were done in the last four and a half years, going after the, the opposition members, um, uh, as far as I can remember, there were 17 of our parliament members that were uh, put in remand custody and investigated. Uh, that it is not how we want to do things. Uh, what we want to do is clearly uh, there is a, if there is evidence, if there is a, co a case that has to be filed, if there is clear, uh, uh, clear investigations going on, that's, that should be the normal procedure. But even right now, the AG's department or the CID or the police department, all these investigation authorities are being headed by the same people that was appointed by the previous government. Uh, even the AG's department, now there were accusations uh, leveled uh, towards the current government saying that uh, people like Champika Ranavak and Rajatha Sinaratna was taken in by force and by not the, following the right procedures. But we have not instructed anyone to do that and neither does the pres uh, president or the prime minister have instructed them to do that. Uh, so the, these are clear... Uh, clearly investigations being done by the, the AG's department. So uh, do you tend to say that the current government is keeping their hands off uh, from police investigations, no. current investigations that is going on and allowing them to do it? Is that what you're trying to say? No, no, we, we can't. Uh, we, we, we will definitely follow up on the complaints that we have lodged with the, uh, the authorities in the last four and a half years. Now, we are still to see uh, the criminal investigation division or the bribery commission still to question any of our complainants. Uh, so we have lodged about 14 complaints with clear evidence. And there are uh, instances where we have seen presidential commission reports, uh, the bond scam report, as well as uh, the, the last one that came out regarding uh, Dr. Rajit Senratna on the Neville Fernando hospital transaction, and as well as presidential candidate Sajid Premadasas. There were two commission reports that uh, were still to be uh, investigated into. So we are also concerned why this is not taking place. So we have actually requested as a government group to look into those things and to expedite things. And uh, we have uh, asked the president to inquire from the police commission as to whether the inquiries have been going according to the books or whether there is any obstacle to that. Uh, so I think in the future it will speed things up. Uh, but right now even uh, there are concerns even within the police department. Uh, there are certain uh, members who were affiliated with the, the previous government. Uh, there were people who were accused of uh, uh, wrongdoings even with the investigations and how our MPs were targeted. Uh, so I think as long as those investigation officers are still in charge, I don't think uh, we will see any anything different or anything new. Uh, but if the police commission can find new people uh, who can lead up uh, impartial inquiries, uh, there is clear evidence and if they want uh, us to come back again and provide them, we are 
uh, here to do that. All right, uh, Harshana, 2015, as soon as you all got into power, uh, started going after the Rajapaksha family and, and their dealings and everything, but nothing actually factual came out after four years. And at that moment, uh, the, the SLPP or the um, UPFA at that moment was crying foul, saying this is political uh, revenge, and uh, two members of your current uh, party is being taken into custody, and that entire process is now followed up in a similar way uh, back in 2015. Now, you all are crying foul. Uh, what, what, what's the difference between these two? Uh, I mean, do you all say that your members are innocent at the moment? No, what I'm saying is I would still... the 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 topics that I was talking about throughout. I would still uh, have uh, doubts in, in those investigations in the previous regime, uh, actually the current regime now. Uh, you know, the Malvana house that was built and who has no owner, I still say uh, that uh, there's a foul play there. Uh, Mr. Basil Rajapaksa's office in Gampa uh, who has no owner? There's no way. Uh, there's there's no means of uh, 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 build the money that has come to build that. I would still say that. And Mathara uh, uh, Mathara uh, land, Dehivala land that was bought, and the gem bag uh, of uh, Desi Archies. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I would still say that. And, and I think that these things c should come to uh, justice. And unfortunately, it took a lo very long time. And I, I don't know whether but that it does, falls uh, let under me finish. you. Yes. No. The, the court, uh, I, 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 that, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know whether it was the delay in the judiciary uh, department, the, the, the courts that, you know, they usually take a long time in for, even for a every small case, right? I don't know whether it was that or whether there was some sort of a deal between our government and 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 the, then their opposition main guys. I don't know. Whatever said and done, still it remains a fact that these should be answered, mm -hmm. right? I, I still believe, and I think those, those things, if they are coming out very clean, have investigations to those things. Tell us how how uh, the Hivala land money uh, the 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 land was bought. I, I I I don't know. I don't know whether you would believe. I don't think if I come and stay at the corridor of, uh, in a house, some fellow will come and bring a bag full of gems, and I will sell that gems and uh, buy a property. You know, th these things are, uh, are quite funny to me, right? Uh, Malvana, the land, you know, it's I you know it's in my electorate. It, it's a huge property, which a which a massive uh, uh, bungalow. No, no, there's no owner. Okay. Will, will you believe in these things? So, these should be answered. If this government is uh, against corruption, look into these first. Talking about Champika Ranavaka and. Uh, uh, Dr. Rajit Sena Ratna's arrest. I think it's obvious that it's uh, because of uh, a political reason. What, what is, is those two charges? Look at look at these two charges. I mean, I'm sure this government can come out with a better. Uh, but, 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 what, uh, but what Kanchan is saying is the fact that the people who are investigating was appointed by your government when you all were in power. And right now, uh, when the investigations are being conducted, it's not con being conducted according to the whims and needs of the current government. So, wow. so, so you think Dr. Rajit Sena Ratna and, and Minister Champika Ranavaka was arrested because of our officials? because of our officials wanted to put our own <laughs> ex-ministers? Do you believe that? My dear, I, I, I mean, that, that's, uh, that, that is taking me too far, right? No, I don't think so. They were politically victimized clearly, right? Champika Ranag was politically victimized. It, Dr. Rajasena Ratna, because he gave a press conference? My God, I can remember the press conferences that uh, so many people in this government spoke about the MCC. I can remember saying that 
they, they drew a map of Sri Lanka, uh, drew a corridor and said, right, and said, even we are going to lose Sigiriya. If we go Russia, across, no, if we, no, well, let me finish. No, if you go across is, that, you have to a, have a visa. Difference between right? that. So please, the same law should apply to those people. Uh, 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 who, was, who, was anyone who, paid to do any of those press conferences? Now the fact no, no, that no. Rajas and Ratna was it taken in custody. It is not the the, the not the money. No, not the no, money. No, no, no. It's the Clearly, it's the, it's the fact that what he was saying bogus. No, no. That was fabricated, the main reason. Fabricated mm. statements were made. Exactly. That is with the money reason. Money being used as a way of uh, no, no, no. The, the but, opposition candidate. But, but again, so, the point the, 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 is the not accusations about that the were leveled about the ten. No, it is that were leveled of still, 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 it's the and same then, thing. And, and still, it's the same thing. You can't, every, every, you can't just because you. I mean, I all, in, I, okay, uh, let, let the people decide. Let the people decide. Let, let him, let but I don't think, I don't think, uh, you know, a person should be uh, behind bars for for making a, a press conference, a statement in a press conference. Then, if that is for uh, wrong. The same law should apply to these people who said bogus things about uh, MCC and other things, right? Uh, I would like to remind Harshana Rajakaruna about the amount of people that had been behind bars in the last four and a half years. Fourteen of our parliament members. Honorable Johnston Fernando was taken in twice. He was kept in for 50 days and they went through the process, went through the trial, everything and the court cleared him. Soon after the court cleared him, they filed another case against him, another six cases to keep him inside prison. Uh, Yoshita Rajapaksa was kept in for 48 days. Namal Rajapaksa was kept in thrice for 21 days. And one instance where he was kept in was for protesting uh, for the sale of the Matale airport. And the reason that they did was saying that there was a effigy that was burned in front of the embassy. And that effigy actually burned uh, a bit of the carpet road that was there and uh, damaged one of the, uh, the, the roadblocks that was in, uh, used by the police. So those were the things that were used. Vimal Veerawan sir, D.B. Chanaka, Ranjit Soy sir. No, the Panchana, answer moment. the questions that I no, raised no, about no. the Malwana land, no, no, about the no, 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 Raj no, 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 office, no, we all about the Matara land, exactly. about the I'm Devala coming, land. I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. Now these were allegations leveled in the previous government. These were allegations leveled. But what did you all do with the first uh, instance? When you all came into power, you all re got rid of the, the, the chief justice that was there, Mohan, uh, uh, Mohan, Piris, uh, Mohan Piris, and uh, put in Shirani Bandaranak in that place. And then you all established the, uh, the, the anti-corruption unit inside the uh, temple trees. And then you all did the FCID. You all established the, uh, the bribery commission. You all established the, uh, the 19th Amendment gave the independent powers that appointed a DG who was, who was very favorable to the, the former Prime Minister, Dilrukshi Vikramasinghe. And you appointed uh, the head of the FCID, Ravi Vaidyalankara, who was also affiliated with the UNP. Uh, then you established the, 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 the special high courts. You went through this whole process and we saw in the last six months how people like uh, Deputy Solicitor General Swadha Gamlat came out and said how he was pressurized to do things. We saw Ravi Vaidyalankar making statements saying that he was, he was instructed to take in a Rajapaksa every week. So those are the instructions given by your political leaders. Oh, I'm asking things like this because the first case that you all filed against in the special, first special high court was against a former chief of staff, Gamini Senarat, uh, and a few others who were involved with the uh, former president, Rajapaksa. You went through the process and they were cleared from the special high courts. So if you all had clear evidence into these things as Malwana and all these other places, uh, allegations that you're making, you all should have used the special high courts that you all established. You all should have uh, used the FCID or the other institutions that you all established. You all could have done it easily. But oh, all the cases that were filed in the special high courts, FCID and all against our MPs were cleared by the courts. So if they were cleared by the courts, that was established by you all. What more can we uh, ask to investigate? So that was something that was done from your end. And we are not going to ask this current government also to stop any investigations that are going on. 
we will definitely ask the investigations to follow procedure and to continue and to come up with the outcome. If I may jump in there, Kanchan, uh, one of the key things that President Gotabe Rajapaksa said during the election campaign was that he is not going to do, uh, he's not going to take political revenge, it's not going to be tit for tat. He was more interested in developing this country, putting in systems and making sure that we are moving ahead. Uh, are we seeing f currently as if you all are forgetting that statement and moving towards uh, uh, something, you know, what we always see as soon as the government change going after the opposition. Is that what we're going to no, see no, again? No, like I said before, uh, Dr. Rajit Sinratna, Champi Karanavaka, they have, we have already given, uh, we have given to the bribery commission and to the relevant authorities way before the, our government was established. There are clear evidence cases that could be taken into investigation. But I don't know why the police is investigating into cases like a traffic offence or something like a press conference, rather than investigating into things like uh, that has clear evidence. So th that is a part you of. You can't say you don't know no, why. No, no. no, no we the have asked the president. Police, I'm, police I'm, I'm is, telling you. Police you have to is take my word by. for this. We have to take. You have to take my word for this. The president or the prime minister or know. the uh, or, or the or the government is not behind any of these arrests or anything. <laughs> but if there uh, is any uh, I'll, arrest I'll, to be taken I'll, place... I'll, I'll keep... I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure that you are not behind. Right? No. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty no, what sure I'm, What I'm that, saying is there are, is there are clear cases... Clear. There are clear cases against Champi Karanavaka that went on the Panama Papers. There are cases yeah, that went course, on Champi Karanavaka. These were not the no, no. things that was taken. No. These were taken up. I'm also now, making the same so, concern. But I'm my also point making is, the same concern. you can't say. There are if, clear evidence a, against things if that... If a main uh, minister is being taken into custody and you can't say the president and the prime minister, oh, we don't know why they have been taken. You, you, you cannot say that. You then the president then and there's the prime a problem minister, with the president think, and the prime minister. No, no, you think the president and the prime minister is being briefed on every investigation that is going on? It is not a If you're near, saying that, probably that happened during the, the, the previous Kanchana, government when the dear, prime minister so I'm not took decisions about within some, a room some how to take people in. Coconut and, 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 or, or, or stealing a coconut from an estate. I'm talking about an important mainstream politician uh, like Champi Karanavaka and Rajasthan Ratna being arrested and you're saying that the president and the prime minister is not aware of it, then I'm sure there is something wrong with the president and the prime minister. <laughs> well, you cannot say that they they are, are I think unaware I'm of it. In my case, the president and the prime minister will not interfere in the judiciary or the investigation process. We know that the last four and a half years, that was the way that was things done. Mm -hmm. The president, the prime minister, everyone, ministers, how they got together and decided who should... Who's the who minister should... of defence? Whose police is under, uh, under whom? The president. The president, yes. So the president has authority to to question the poli police. Yes, obviously uh, he has done that. So, so, so obviously he has mean, done that. <laughs> all right, obviously uh, he has uh, done uh, that after the investigation after, commenced. Right. After, after all, after he was released from bail, probably he has done that. General but General, we, we didn't see. There, there yeah, are we didn't there see are concerns anything. now. There are concerns. Uh, how uh, it was communicated to Dr. Rajat Senaratna uh, after it was communicated to the speaker that there was a arrest warrant against Raj Senratna. Soon as that was communicated to the, uh, the speaker, we see Raj Senratna being hospitalized. A person who was walking the day before, who came into the courts before, so soon as the, now, now the speaker you're, you're, was... Now you're avoiding what I was saying. Gentlemen, You're avoiding what I was saying. We need to move on, we need to move on. Uh, I mean, uh, if you want to discuss about the, the, the procedure, I think it's a... Uh, uh, the separate debate which we need to have one hour to discuss about. But the public I can be assured there will be investigations into the alleged uh, uh, complaints that we have made in the last four and a half years. We right. will be uh, we will be requesting the president to appoint committees into investigate those things, and we will provide any evidence if they need evidence again. We will do that. I want to talk about uh, how the uh, future of this country is going to be, and what exactly can we uh, expect? We are also going in for a general election uh, in a few months' time. But before that, I want to take a short commercial break. This is Get Real Stay with us. We'll be right back.
welcome to the program. I'm in conversation with State Minister Kanchan Vijasekara and Parliamentarian from the UNP uh, representing the Gampa District, uh, Harshan Rajakarna. Uh, we've been having uh, quite a debate with regard to uh, the current state of things uh, with regard to corruption, with regard to how the country is being run. I want to uh, move on to as to what we can expect in the future. A big uh, component of the policies and strategies of uh, President Gotabe Rajapaksa uh, Kanchana is uh, the economy, getting the country back uh, into a working state and uh, then profiting uh, in the end. And he says that he's putting a five-year uh, term limit to get this back on track. Um, how, what can we see? Because uh, uh, one thing that we recently saw was that he's ensuring, he's asking officials of the state sector to get Get rid of uh, lagging and you know being uh, unproductive and making sure that they provide the uh, the support that is needed to the people so what else what is that the way forward uh, yes absolutely I think uh, we are moving in the right direction right now because what we see is a huge burden on our economy now we have to uh, our borrowings have uh, actually doubled over the last five years uh, when President Rajapaksa Mahindra Rajapaksa uh, left in 2015, uh, our whole debt situation was about seven trillion, uh, and now it has gone up to about 14 trillion in the last four and a half years. Uh, but uh, the the current president Gotabe Rajapaksa's plan is not to keep borrowing. He wants to uh, continue in a way that we increase our production and maybe if we can cut down on our import bills as well. Now we are spending a lot of money on imports. Uh, which we can actually uh, domestically uh, cater in the, in the current markets here. Uh, now we see a lot of uh, agricultural products that have been uh, been imported in the last 10-15 years uh, for no reason. And our agriculture sector has gone down and we are actually worried about our plantations as well. Uh, our tea industry uh, right now is going through a really bad phase. Uh, we have lost uh, the market share in the world market as well. We have gone down in production about 42%. Uh, and we have to look into ways of investing more money in local production. And that is what we are trying to do right now. And the few steps that they have been taking uh, as the cabinet of ministers in the first couple of weeks, uh, the reduction of the taxes, uh, the VAT taxes, the NBT, uh, and the PE taxes, and uh, the income taxes, and all those things. And we have given tax benefits for the agriculture and fisheries sectors as well. We have got rid of them from the income taxes. Uh, and as also, we have given a tax holiday, uh, uh, a little bit of a uh, breathing space for the industries who have borrowed against the state banks and private banks locally. Uh, we have given them about a, a six month period for them to pump in more money into the economy so that they can produce uh, domestically, they can go in for production, they can start construction work. So with that aim, we hope to, uh, uh, to free flow money in the economy. Uh, with that to strengthen uh, the dollar against the rupee, uh, so uh, we will be able to uh, pay out the loans that are existing and also to invest in projects that will bring benefit for the country. Uh, uh, the Hambantuta uh, project is one area that we are looking at, the industrial zone, how to uh, renegotiate and how to implement some of the work there. The port city is another project that we are looking at. And also uh, the main industry would be uh, the main area would be. Can I ask about what are your thoughts about the port uh, uh the agreement, the port agreement that we uh, had the joint venture with China? Uh, as far as I know, it was very clearly mentioned that you all are going to renegotiate your life. We are renegotiating it. We are renegotiating but, it. I saw the, the Chinese ambassador has made a statement saying that it will be continued. But yes. we, we questioned about this and the president, the prime minister, so the government... So why don't you make a statement? Uh, we will be. We, no. will be. No. we will be. But but unfortunately, Kanchana, the, the statement from the Chinese government was happened about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. but the Sri Lankan government has not responded. No, we will, and we will and clearly, as far as we will uh, clearly, I know, the president has clearly. mentioned that he is not going to. No, we will be clearly negotiating any trade agreements that were entered uh, 
uh, that are unfavorable for the country, we will be renegotiating them. And we won't be signing any, uh, any agreements that are unfavorable, uh, but we need to be in a place that we are able to bargain with them. We need to establish ourselves. We need to put a foundation where we can negotiate with them. Right now, we are not in a negotiation place. Uh, we are not in a strong economical uh, situation. What? We are not in a... We don't I, to do be you think you all made a proper... No, now, you all, now you all, for example, Are you all Kalam saying that you all no gave port. a country that is economically formidable uh, My dear, state? You all gave a country uh, with... with no, not a country like Switzerland or Singapore. You all came, went for an election two years before because of the economic situation, right? So <laughs> you're not that. I, I, what what what, but, <laughs> what changes did you all do in the last four and a half years so to I, I, let, get let, the country let, back? Let, let me no, talk. My about question that. is, Harshan, let me, let me. now our bird, our debt situation no, from seven my, trillion. From 40, 1948 to 2015, again our entire about the seven total. trillion. I'm, and the I'm, seven so trillion the, US I'm dollars. talking about the Hambantar project. Understood. Right uh, now, the Colombo port. With, with all that uh, difficulties, we negotiated for a... You all were planned to sell a part of the Colombo port uh, freehold. Freehold who? To China. No, no. Yes. Harshana, of, if you go back, course. if you go back, if and you go back... You are saying that uh, you all were not planning to sell part of it. I'm not saying the whole thing, but part of it. As Yes, you all were, we, and we, we changed it we to were, 99 years. We, we were... You mean the port city? Colombo port city. Port city. Yes. Port city. Yes, we agree. Exactly. There was a, there was a percentage of land that yeah. was on a freehold basis. Yes. The rest was the ownership of the Sri Lankan government. I agree. What you all did no, was no, you no, made my, the entire port city project a 99 year lease that doesn't have no, the involvement my, in the my Sri Lankan point government. Is, my point is the same way that we negotiated. You all can negotiate it for, with Hambantota if you at need what, to do it. At what cost did you all negotiate? How much did you all... That's what you had to... No, no. I think even a lack of two years is good no, that we you, didn't I'll tell you have one, to give any area, plot now, of land to any other ministry, country. Now in our ministry, we have this Kantale sugar plant. Uh, Kantale sugar plant is a I'm talking about acre. the Hambantara. No, no, I'm, I'm coming to this. 21,000 acre uh, that was uh, that was stopped manufacturing in 87. It was telecasted in your news as well, why we are not starting operations. But unfortunately, the previous government in 2016 gave the rights to the Kantale sugar uh, manufacturing plant to an Indian company. So we are under contract to a 500 acre area with the plants and machinery and everything that is being owned by an Indian com uh, company now. And we have been, uh, the previous government has actually tried to get it back again in from after 2016, but they have gone to arbitration court and we have to pay 50 million US dollars to get out of it. So, do you see how we can pay 50 million US dollars wanna, uh, to get Kantale back? Kanchana, I want to get uh, Harshana's uh, response. Harshana, uh, he, he was saying that apparently the car, uh, when he started saying the country is back on track very quickly, we are out of time. Uh, do you think the country is on track towards development? I'm hoping for the best. I hope whatever the mistakes that we made, that they will rectify it. But I don't see it coming. Today, uh, this week, the first week of January, especially the government sector employees were, because of our government, they have got 107% increase of their salary. 107% increase. And, and also they were to get a, a further increase. Unfortunately, the current Rajpaksa government has has We're stopped still it. running on your vote of account, not from our... Uh, so change it. Change it. <laughs> we are still running on no, a vote of account that was so given by... So we didn't prorogue the parliament. <laughs> it wasn't us to prorogue the parliament. Are you going to support... 100%. A, are you we have support? openly told. Why we not have openly to dissolve? We, no, it's better. We don't want to dissolve. Bring so if you're doing something up, better bring, for the country... Bring a budget. If you're thinking, support. If you think no, it from your party it saying, was not obviously our, you can stay it till was not our But if you're thinking from the country's point of view, you should go into the dissolution. Pro, no, that is your, that is an excuse for not providing and What's not... What's excuse? Not, that, the, about, the, so, about, about the parliament reduction. So whoever wants the, to build a strong, stable government is excuse. If you want to give... There is no stable government right now. It does not matter. We... We gave in 2015 when we had 40 MPs in Parliament. You all, you all supported.
But we we brought a budget. No, we, we brought a budget when we had 40 did, MPs. Did, did anyone oppose going into parliamentary elections at that time? That is not the point. The point is that it is not the parliamentary election. If you all want to bring uh, benefits to this public, the, uh, the, 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 the Sri Lankans, you all bring it to the parliament. We didn't prorogue the parliament. It was your president who prorogued the parliament. We will we bring up bring a budget immediately. No, we, are, we, are we, will a, support. we are bringing a full, all right, full all right. budget. We will bring it in April, bring it, uh, straight up. Bring elections, it. we are bringing it without budget. talking. Right. Bring it, but not a. Not we a all should account. have. Y'all could have done it end of December also. Uh, you all were running with a right, board of account we, for two I years. Yes. Out of time. Not with the budget. Uh, we, no, not with the budget. Not two we years. To, uh, two years. And this conversation right now, it has been Being very, uh, as January. you can see, very lively. Uh, and also, uh, we will continue this discussion as, uh, uh, if I may, very quickly, like one-worded answers from both of you, from which uh, electorate will you be contesting in the upcoming uh, general election? You'll be coming from Mathura District. Mathura District, and you'll be from Gampa, is it? Gampa from District, Dumpe. yes. So, uh, the question your... should have been, which party? <laughs> SLPP well, for sure. Hundred uh, <laughs> percent with the national. <laughs> but all right, uh, gentlemen, uh, State Minister Kanchan Vijayasekar and uh, Parliamentarian uh, Harshan Rajakaruna, I am very appreciative of you both coming uh, here and actually having a very good lively discussion right here on Get Real. I'll be back on the other side with my closing arguments. Stay with us. Well, that was quite a good discussion, a very good way to start the new year. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If the new government continues to fall to the leadership of our new president and then fall back on finger pointing, I'm sure within a very short period of time, they need to be packing their bags and be ready to go home. The people of this country is no longer going to tolerate bickering, finger pointing, because of them we can't do this, or just playing the old blame game. People of this country is now getting the hang of it that if you who claim to be public servants and don't work for the benefit of this nation, then you are going home, my friend. This is in fact the very vision of President Gotabe Rajpaksa. Do your job, if not get out. The current government wants to do many changes in the national interest, and in order to do so, they need the support of the parliament, and more importantly, to have a two-thirds majority to get their wish and across without compromising to various nefarious groups within the parliament. Now, so how can they do that? Simple. Win the next general election with a two-thirds majority. Now, people are watching, and it's quite vital that this government knows that they are being judged on, on their actions within these next two or three months. This is your litmus test. And it is vital as a rising sun that you get this right. If not, what happened to the United National Party back in 2015 for waiting more than six months to go for a parliamentary election and not doing enough during that time will cost them the simple majority and it will fall back on the current SLPP government as well. Well, tonight I want to leave you with a quote from former President Barack Obama who said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Well, that's our show for tonight. I'm Mahesh Johnny from all of us here and other than the 24 and the Get Real team. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Good night.